hello guys and welcome back so as you know that now our vehicle moves forward and backward now let's add the turning to this vehicle so that we can run this vehicle around wherever we want and also we will add braking system to the vehicle open up the script and right here in the vehicle engine let's create a float by the name of braking pulls and this will be equals to 200f after this let's create a private float by the name of present break force which will be equals to 0f and actually we can make this present acceleration as private as well and now let's add the vehicle steering variables so the first one will be a public float let's name this as wheels torque and as you know torque is the turning force so the torque for this vehicle will be 20 and then we will create a private float by the name of present run angle or you can say present torque if you want which will be 0f okay now let's get down and add the steering system okay so for that we will create a function by the name of vehicle steering and as you know the steering happens on the horizontal axis left and right okay so we will set the present run angle to the wheel torque we will multiply that by the input dot get axis in the axis is the horizontal okay and then as you can see this is just a basic thing that when a, a car or any vehicle turns only the front wheel turns to the left or right okay not the back wheels so right here we will just update the front left and right wheels so for that right here we will say front right wheel collider this time it will not be the motor torque this time it will be the steer angle and these things comes with the wheel collider okay and we will set the steer angle to present run angle and let's do the same for the left wheel okay and right here we want the wheels to be animated so we will animate the wheels but let's just leave that for now let's copy of this function in, in the update let's call it save the script come right here as you can see we have the wheel steering now we have the braking force we didn't add the braking function for now but first let's work on the vehicle steering so now if we press the D button and let's press the W button you will notice that the car is turning as you can see now let's press the S button and the A button the car will turn as you can see the car is turning now let's move to that side as you can see now the vehicle is running there as you can see the steering is now working let's back up and as you can see but the tires is not changing because we didn't animate the wheels so let's just quickly animate the wheels first of all after this vehicle steering we will create a function by the name of steering wheels and in here we will pass a wheel collider by the name of WC or you can say wheel collider and also we will pass the transform which will be by the name of WT okay and in here we will create a vector 3 by the name of position and then a quadrainian by the name of rotation and then 
we want to change the wheel transform a recording to the vector 3 position so we will type wt dot position equals to position and then we want to also change the rotation of the wheels so we will say wt h little t is capital so wt dot rotation will be equals to the rotation okay we have added that now right here we added the comment so we will call the function which is steering wheels and in here for the wheel collider we will call the front right wheel collider and for the transform we will call the front wheel front right wheel transform okay and we will do the same for the other uh, wheel colliders and transform and right here as you notice you will be thinking that where this position and rotation come from this is actually this position and rotation okay and let's right here say wheel collider dot get world pose and in here we will out the position and out the rotation okay and now we have assigned that to this one okay now let's just save this and you will notice that our wheels will now rotate as you can see it is rotating forwards now let's rotate it backward as you can see let's as you can see now the wheels can rotate as well as you can see left right left right okay let's turn to that position okay it is going to here now let's come from there in the backward direction as you can see but for now we don't have any braking system so in the next video we will add the braking system as you know we have the braking force but we don't have a function for that so in the next video we will add the braking system so see you guys in the next video